What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and I produce daily content for homeowners and new and up and coming heating and air technicians teaching you everything you need to know about HVAC and on today's service call what I'm going to be showing you is a carrier gas furnace and I'm going to be showing you how an inducer motor works, what it does and why you need it on your gas furnace. So if you want to see how I do it, stay tuned and I'll see you at the furnace. Okay guys we're here at the furnace and this is I took the front cover off but this part right here is your inducer fan motor. Now what this does is this basically is mounted onto the faceplate of our heat exchanger. Our heat exchanger is mounted in the bottom below in the cabinet itself. The heat exchanger is what gets hot and basically your blower blows across to blow heat into the house. Now how this inducer motor works is your flames are here at your burners when ignition for this furnace kicks on the flames blow into the little holes of your heat exchanger as you can see those here and what the inducer motor does it pulls those flames into the heat exchanger the inducer motor runs and basically it's taking all that carbon monoxide and everything from the, the flames and it's basically shooting that out of our flue pipe then it goes to the ceiling and out of the house. So the purpose of your inducer motor is to pull the flames into the heat exchanger to take all that carbon monoxide and all the bad stuff we don't want. It carries it out our flue pipe and outside of the house. Now on a gas furnace, your inducer motor will always be 120 volts. You can see right here, we got a white and a black. This is where our 120 volt comes on when the board since power for our inducer motor, our inducer motor will kick on and, and start that process. Now, anytime you're talking about inducer motor, you want to see how that affects your pressure switch. Your pressure switch is here. Your, your inducer motor mounts onto the face plate of the heat exchanger, but what it also has is a little orifice right here. What that orifice is for, it hooks up to the collector box of our inducer motor and that goes to our pressure switch so when this inducer motor comes on it will pull a vacuum when it's up to speed that vacuum will go through them through this vacuum tube and it will close our pressure switch so purpose of inducer motor does a few things it pulls our burner into our heat exchanger or our flame into our heat exchanger it takes that carbon monoxide it carries it outside of the home and at the same time when the inducer motor is running it will pull a vacuum on this hose closing our pressure switch telling us our inducer motor is running and then basically it'll send power back to our board so if our inducer motor is not running which a lot of times the the wheel in the back back here has got a squirrel cage on it just like a regular blower motor that could be deteriorated and if that happens the motor will still be running but it can't pull a vacuum uh, your your rollout switches could be tripped because it's not pulling air through our heat exchanger so there's a number of problems if your motor does not run so what we will do is we will let the unit time out and I'm going to show you running it uh, with the system going okay guys we got a call for heat and as you can see our wheel for an inducer motor is running and what it's doing it's verifying our pressure switch so it's running it's pulled a vacuum it's closed our pressure switch pin power to the board now that our pressure switch is in our limits are, are set basically it's sent power to our hot surface igniter then to our flame and so you can see the purposes of the inducer motor now First, it closes our pressure switch. The motor keeps running. It's pulling a, a draft in through our heat exchanger. You can see our burners in your lid and it's pulling the, the flame into the heat exchanger. All of that carbon monoxide and stuff that's being produced by your flames is going through your heat exchanger and exiting behind this inducer motor. As this mo inducer motor keeps running, it pulls that stuff, runs it into our, our flue pipe, which is right here on the, in the middle of the furnace. It goes down through our furnace, through our flue pipe, 
and out. Pretty simple step into figuring out how to do some other works. This is on a, a 80% gas furnace. So the way these work is, is really easy. The only thing that would be different is if you have a 90% furnace, you may have different speeds of your blower motor, or you may have a different type of pressure switch, but basically pretty much they all work the same. So if you know how one works, you know how everything works. But this is, like I say, is for an 80% gas furnace. Main thing for the Indusa motor is to take out all the carbon monoxide and everything and escape it from the house. So guys, pretty easy setup on this furnace. I hope you learned something. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. It means more to me than you know. And as always, I will see you on the next service call. Thanks, guys.